What's up everybody? This is Turn On Toronto, the show where we bring you face to face with the faces of the city. And today, my guest is the super maniac herself, Maria Jose Govea. So excited to meet you. You're one Me of the too. best photographers in the city. So Thank you so much. Super psyched uh, to have you on. The super maniac. Where did you get uh, that nickname in the first place? Um, I used to DJ before uh, starting to do photography. So yeah, I was DJ maniac and somehow all of a sudden that turned into the super maniac and I applied the super to my photography, you know, outlet. Overall, what are some of the best events that you've got to cover? Well, I mean, my favorite is Base Mentality. Mm -hmm. I'm the resident photographer for this super crazy wild night called Base Mentality every Wednesday at Rungmar. And uh, yeah, that's my favorite. I've been doing that for over a year. I'm there every Wednesday and it's, it's been an amazing experience for me. And I've gotten to like photograph a lot of people that I'm actually a fan of, you know? I've done some stuff with, uh, with uh, Embrace. They throw like, you know, they're throwing like the best parties right now in the scene. And yeah, it's just really exciting for me to be there, you know, just covering like all these parties. Can you believe it still sometimes? I mean, I believe it, but I still enjoy it like so much, you know, and I don't take it for granted. You mm. know, I love it. I, I, I really love it. Okay. What <laughs> yeah. age did you begin this? I actually started about four years ago. Cause, oh, um, really? Yeah, um, I was DJing a lot at that point and I used to do my own press photos like you know for MySpace mm. and my friend told me why don't you study photography like you're actually good at taking photos and I'm like yeah wanna, wanna, why don't I do that I went to school for a bit and then I dropped out of school to buy equipment and start shooting you know and I started shooting my friends because I, because I was a DJ I had a lot of DJ friends so I started shooting my friends and I, I ran like a little promo on MySpace to find bands to shoot and I started shooting bands and you know, that's how I started. And now you're still doing it today and loving it as much as you did yes. before it was work? I love it more and more every day. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more I know, the more you know, I want to know and the more I want to be involved in it, you know, and the more I want to achieve, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. There's something about the energy in a picture that really grabs me, you know what I mean? Like, just to be a young artist, just about energy sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I can relate to that and I, 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 I look for it and like, I don't know, when I find that it, like, it makes me smile. Okay, let's talk about, um, you know, you've done some celebrity shoots before. I mean, I, I've seen shots of you taking pictures of Skrillex. Yeah. I've seen uh, shots with Jason Statham on a red carpet. Yes. Right? I'm on a red carpet and I have to like yell, you know, yeah. their names so they look into my camera, you know what I mean? So I was like, Clive, Clive, you know? And Jason, Jason, but it works. They actually look and they pose, you know? And, but it's, it's really, I don't know, it was a surreal like, experience for me. Your work's been in LA Weekly, it's been on Spin Magazine with 12th Planet, and uh, I think I saw a billboard, a shot of a billboard in California yes, of your yes. work with Zed's Dead. Yes. So talk about what like, that means to you. How awesome is it to actually see your work for the world to see? That's something that sometimes I don't believe, you know what I mean? It's like, what? That's my photo. You definitely, I think you definitely need those moments to like, keep you going, you know what I mean? Because it's, uh, it's not easy to, to do this, you know? And I haven't been doing it for that long, so like, you know, I, I'm still at a point where like, sometimes I, like, it feels really good when I actually realize, you know, that, that I'm going in the right track, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. like, it's those little moments that give you like, the fuel to keep going, you know? It, it doesn't end, it's, there's so much work to do, and it's not only about doing marketing and do, producing great work, it's about placing the clients, because you can take a picture and you might think that it's amazing, and it could be amazing, but if the client doesn't like it, then you're not really doing your job, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, like I said, it's, it's, but if you start thinking about how, like, you know, how many layers there are, like, you're probably, if you're starting out, you're, you're going to be like, oh, I'd rather don't do that. It sounds like too much work. It's but overwhelming, no. right? It's overwhelming. Yeah, it's definitely overwhelming. But I, that's why I say you shoot, you know, you shoot, shoot, shoot and get better. <laughs> there's a lot of challenges. Uh, there's, there's a lot of competition, you know, there's a lot of um, mm, jobs that are not well paid, you know, so it's discouraging, you know, and it's disappointing sometimes. Um, Everybody has doubts, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I'm terrible, or this and that, or like, this is too hard, or like, there's not enough money in it, or, you know? Um, I think that's very normal, you know, for any, like, sort of creative, artistic career. 
can't let that beat you, you know what I mean? Like, like it's going to happen, but you just got, have to keep going. Right now, I want to shift the conversation a little bit to Toronto, the okay. city itself. I mean, you moved here from Venezuela. Why Toronto? What do you love about this city? Like, what turns you on in Toronto? There's so much in Toronto. Like, seriously, I, I've been here for nine years. I still don't know the half of it. You know, there's mm -hmm. always like random little like coffee shops and like random little places, you know, like. You just got to go explore. Yeah, definitely. It's a good place to place to explore. Sometimes it's just about like if you feel right in that place and I definitely feel right here. You know what I mean? Well, Maria, you're a pleasant interview. Thank you so much for <laughs> coming you out so and much, helping Maria. us turn on Toronto. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.